Today you see two bottoms, one is a pair of shorts and another one is the same shorts pattern but turned into a wide leg long pant. If you love the feet of the shorts, why not make it wide leg pants? Look at this little pleat detail on the shorts. Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from LiftingPinsAndNeedles.com. Welcome to this channel that is all about sewing, limitless sewing and I'm very very happy to share two new makes I whipped up during this week. I've also with these same makes been filming other content that you'll see later on. I'm just so happy with the result. And the pattern I've used is the Tinley Bottoms from Love Notions. This is the pattern that's featured today Friday, only today. And it's always a great time to grab these amazing patterns for $5 because they don't come on this type of sale for at least another year. So I think $5 is an amazing price for a really great pattern that has so many options and views. Last year when this pattern was released, I have already made four versions. You can see in the line out there that you can either make shorts or skirts. With the shorts and the skirts, you can make straight styles or swing full styles. So I think you can have so many options there to choose from. The waistband is amazing, flat front, elasticated back. I have already filmed how to sew this pattern. I have a separate video on how to sew the waistband if you want to do it traditionally. Remember I have a coupon code. It's always in the bottom at the comments and the description box. You can get an extra 10% off even on top of sales if you use it. See that when I show you my garments, I've made a change. I've changed the whole waist finish from a waistband to a facing and it feels amazing on and I have filmed that for you for something that's coming a little bit later. At the end of this episode, I'll show you my previous 14 list styled as of today. So you can see them in case you don't know what I'm talking about, you're new to the channel, you can see my previous four versions. Now, last Friday, I showed you this amazing Aria shirt that I made out of a lightweight gray denim. And I added this little pleat feature there that is a hack. This is inspired from the end core skirt, which is another pattern from Love Notions. I'll show you some images here that has that pleat detail on the front on one of the options. Love that pleat. And I was trying that skirt on for something else. And I said, why don't I add that pleat to the Aria shirt? <laughs> When I was cutting this out, I was super mindful to leave as much fabric left over as possible because I could eyeball that maybe I could get a pair of shorts. I was really hoping I could, and I did, <laughs> and I'm so happy. So the first pair of shorts you're gonna see here, Tinley shorts, are the straight style, and I had just enough fabric left over, and even I had enough fabric to make this little pleat detail on the shorts so that I can wear them together as a set, and it's so, so nice. So let me just show you something about these ones. I really want to get a pair of Tinley shorts from this leftover denim I have here. I recently made an Aria shirt from it. I also have an Encore skirt from it, so it's going to be just enough for the shorts. So I've placed my back piece right there, almost at the edge of the selvage. The selvage edge will be hidden within the seam allowance. The hem is right up there. And then from this space is where I want to get the front leg. I can put this leg over here. Denim is non-directional, you can place pattern pieces in the opposite direction, there's no worry there. And I'm going to scoot this over as much as it goes. I'm going to put the hem right along the edge of the fabric and this is going to touch this edge right here. And I want to measure how much excess I have over here because I want to do a pleat feature like I did in my Aria shirt. I just want a set with all the pleat details, I think it's going to look really cute. So what I have here is 8 centimeters which is three and a quarter inches, and that's okay for a pleat. I wouldn't want it any smaller than this, so I'm gonna use what I have. If my fabric was a little wider, then I would probably use nine centimeters. I'd have an extra three eighths. What I'm gonna do with this front leg is fold it in half lengthwise. So I'm gonna get this and match it up over here to the crotch. And I have already folded it, but let me show you. That's all I've done, keeping it straight. And that's how I've divided my front leg into two. I've got a red line going down the middle of the pattern piece right here. So let me show you my new pattern piece. You can see I have all the pleat in here, which is the eight centimeters I measured. So all I did was take my pants and trace from this edge here up to that line right here. I traced that line right there, drew the line over here, and then I added my eight centimeters, which is gonna make for the pleat. And then I brought that red line and placed it along the second line here to create the volume. And then I kept tracing the rest that way. So that's the best way to add a pleat without distorting the pattern pieces. When the pleat is sewn, it's gonna have the same fit. Everything's gonna be the same. It's just that at the bottom, we're gonna have that small little pleat detail that's gonna match my Aria shirt. 
watch that video please so you know what I'm talking about this is going to be so pretty and I'm going to sew the pleat in the exact same way so look at that video to see how I'm going to sew the pleat I'm going to trim the excess paper and then this is going to fit exactly into my fabric here I'm going to be folding this away because I am going to be sewing pockets with these shorts so that's how it's supposed to be if you don't want pockets then just keep this normal so now my new front piece is going to use up all the rest of this fabric I won't have much left see it fits perfectly so this is going to be my front leg now here's a look at the pieces for this version of the tin lee the back is unchanged that's all normal i did have an extra little bit of fabric left over so i just cut out a rectangle that i'm going to place as patch pockets here that's what that is it's already surged <laughs> actually everything's already surged everything and here are my front legs already constructed I've got them on top of each other. This is the pocket bag that's already sewn. The pleat is already there. It's top stitched. That's how it looks like. After I do the hem, I'm going to have a pleat that's four inches. It's just going to be a little detail there that's going to match the detail of my Aria shirt. So I can wear this as a set if I want to. The difference with these are that I'm going to use a facing instead on the inside instead of the waistband. All the waistlines are stay stitched to keep them the original shape. This is my front facing. That's my back facing. I did run out of the denim and what I like about facings is that you can use something different so I've just got a little piece of linen I had left over and it's interfaced right there. So I'm going to sew up the shorts as normal and then I'm going to sew the facing. It'll still have the flat front elasticated back like intended and I have filmed all the footage of how I created these facings separately. It'll be in a separate tutorial. The Tinley don't have patch pockets. I'm going to use one of my other shorts to try on and I can find the correct position for them. After trying the pockets and figuring out the position I liked, I just basted them onto the pants and top stitched. These are very simple pockets, rectangle pockets. I didn't have much fabric to play with. I'm just happy to have something at the back, which is something I like with solid. With prints, I wouldn't mind not having pockets. Now, I've sewn the whole shorts as per normal, nothing different. The pockets are there. The only difference is that we have that front pleat detail, which is a really subtle detail at the bottom. It's not a huge pleat. It's going to be something delicate that's going to match the detail of the shirt, and I'm so excited. Now, my waistline was raised in order to do a facing. Here you can see I've got my facing on. This is not part of the tutorial for today. I'm going to have this separately at the end of the month for you but you can sew on the normal waistband if you like i'm just doing this because i like facings so you can see that i added on a facing on the top instead of the waistband that is something i had planned to do for a very long time and i'm compilating different types of footage i filmed from different makes over the last couple of months because i want to make one big video about it you know the styles that i make they had to do something three ways four ways five ways so that's why the facing is not included in today's video so i have a flat front look anyway and in this style from the pocket opening to the back and across to the other side that's where the elasticated feature starts so it doesn't start on the side seams which comes a little bit further that's the tin lee vision style so i kept that same style over here when i did that flat look with the elastic at the back it's super neat i ran out of the denim of course i did my facing inside out of linen which is a great fabric it feels soft on the skin I never feel bad about doing things like that. <laughs> but the most important thing was that I had enough width of the fabric to be able to add this little pleat right here in the center front of the leg. I made it the same length as my Aria shirt, so finished here is four inches, but it was five because I have a one inch hem allowance in there. That is really nice. And because this is a solid and denim, I thought this really needs patch pockets there. If you're not confident in making your own patch pockets with rectangles, just grab the pockets of something else, like the Allegros, like the Legados, like the Glissandos. There's so many patterns that have a pocket at the back. Just grab one of those and pop it on something that doesn't have one. <laughs> you saw that I used myself trying on another pair of Tinley shorts to figure out where to place them, and that was really helpful for me to know where they should go. I kept them really simple rectangles that I got from a little edge left over from the denim. Remember, I'm working with no fabric, <laughs> very minimal fabric. So I was happy that I even got pockets at all. So that is amazing. And also on the pocket lining, I used a plain black lightweight cotton there. I would usually want to do that anyway, just to keep it less bulky. And then the pocket bag that goes behind it, that is the actual denim. So that is the short. It's still the same short. It's still the same fit. I'm just missing a waistband. Instead of a waistband, I've raised this up higher and created my own facing. Remember that footage will come later. 
I have already done it though. And let me show you how it looks like on the inside. I'm just so happy that this turned out and that I had enough fabric for it. I'm really excited to wear it with my Aria shirt, which is so, so cute, the one I made last week. So that's how the pocket looks like on the inside. That's the same denim. There I have the pocket lining. And here you can see the pleat that's been top stitched down. And that's how it looks like on that side. So, so pretty. The black linen facing. I created the facing pieces from the same pattern piece. And that's how it looks like on the other side. It's all top stitched to keep that elastic nice and flat. I can't tell you how much I love these. Here are my gorgeous new Tinley shorts in a dark gray denim. Excuse the bad lighting. It's a really horrible rainy day. I've got it paired with my Isla top from Sinclair patterns here. Very floaty. And you'll see the pleat detail up front. It's a small little detail running down the center of the leg the pleat at the bottom is actually only four inches and it's really cute all the rest is all the same and now when you tuck in if you really notice you might see that I don't have a waistband I have a facing on the inside instead the rise will end up at the original height that the waistband had I just raised all of this to add that facing I love how that turned out and look at these cute pleats so amazing I used the excess amount of fabric I had available there when I was placing my pattern pieces and it turned out perfectly I'm so happy was dreaming about this since the other day when I made my Aria shirt and I think tucking this top in really highlights the features of the Tinley shorts. The patch pockets are extra, I added those, that's not part of the pattern. My shorts are one inch longer than the original just because I'm a little taller. This is the length of shorts that I feel most comfortable in to dress them down and dress them up. These are dream shorts, I know I'm going to be wearing these a lot. Grey goes with everything so they're going to be a workhorse. Here I have my Tilly shorts paired with my Pika vest from Wardrobe by Me in a dark red tone. I have these loafers that have a little heel which were a find for me, they're so comfortable and I love the combination of dark red with the grey denim. I've styled this same outfit with my Encore skirt in the past and I felt amazing so the skirt and the shorts are the same fabric they have the same details so they sort of are an equivalent way to style them for me the vest is shorter so you can really see my patch pockets there i just always like having a patch pocket when i'm sewing something in a solid i think you need something back there i love this outfit i love the look everything the shorter top i think goes perfectly with these shorts Now here is my set with the Aria shirt. In this case, I have my Aria shirt on its own. I don't have any layering piece underneath. I've got some cool sneakers. And I think this set looks so, so cool. It looks really, really cool in my opinion. <laughs> Up closer you're gonna see that I have the pleat details matching and this is a dreamed outfit for me because I've been thinking about it for such a long time and now that it's finally real it's just so much happiness in my heart right now how pretty are those pleats on the Aria shirt <laughs> I showed you this one a couple of days ago and I had that little bit of denim thinking I hope I can get a pair of teeny shorts out of it to wear them together and dreams come true sometimes when there's enough fabric I'm just so very happy with this set and I could wear it open with a cami underneath, I just have it on its own for now and I absolutely love it. I think these two makes are the happiest so far in 2024. <laughs> now I've just brightened everything up because the colours were sort of dark. Pulled out my white terra tunic, it's not a tunic, I always saw tunics as tops so this is just shorter. I've got some white accessories as well. Love the white and the grey, you can't go wrong, love how it looks. You don't have to tuck everything in, I usually wouldn't, you know, just wear things out if that's more comfortable for you. I think this is okay because it's a shorter top, so I don't feel like I'm drowning in fabric, either on the top or the bottom. A couple of weeks ago, on the 20th of February, I turned 45 years old and that day my husband took me to an amazing shopping trip in a nearby city. Well, nearby like an hour drive, so we don't go there often at all. And over there I picked up so many beautiful fabrics. Uh, I did show a fabric haul video showing you all my finds. And one of the shops I visited, they had some dead stock fabrics from Farm Rio, which is a Brazilian brand that you see in every single shopping mall here. It's very popular, although I think they market it out 
of the country to be this amazing designer brand. I just think it's really, really normal here. They use regular fabrics, they use a lot of linen. It's just that the prints are super wild. And I found one print there that I love. It's a rayon linen, 70% rayon, 30% linen. So it's mainly rayon, but it still has that linen texture. The print is a little bit out there, but it's toned down by the fact that it's only two colors, beige and black. So when I saw that fabric and how drapey it was, I always knew I wanted some wide leg pants, something. And the Tinley were perfect. I'm so happy with the fit. I don't have to change anything about them. I love the flat front elasticated back feature and how that feels. And having made my denim Tinley shorts with the facing, I just carried on and made these ones the same. So let me just show you how I adapted a little angle on the inseam so that I was able to carry on the same angle going down to get wide leg pants. Yeah, little tiny change. You can do it too if you like the Tinleys and want some wide leg pants. Let's see. This is the back leg of the Tinley shorts and I got my son to help me measure from the bottom of the hem with my shorts on what it measured down to where I want them to be full length. That's going to be different for everyone. And so let me show you what I've done here on the inseam. Now these are shorts. There's this angle going in which makes sense for the shorts. But if I want to lengthen this full length, I don't want to keep going in like this, like this, like this because I don't want to end up with tapered pants. I want them to be wide. So here the hem, I just drew out one inch that you can see there. And then from below this crotch curve, about five eighths of an inch, I started going down there. This is the angle that I'm going to follow to draw the line all the way down. So I've scooted the camera over. You can see this goes out and it just flares a little bit out like that. And this is going to make sense for long wide leg pants. On the side seam it was more straightforward because it's straighter there so I just kept the same angle going all the way down for the extra length that I needed. The extra length that I added is not relevant because everyone has a different height. <laughs> I added 56 centimeters but that's just me you know you could add more or less it just depends on your height and now this is where I'm going to cut now and I'm going to have wide leg pants using the Tinley which I'm very happy with the fit. This is the front leg and I've done the same thing. So you can see the extra blue paper underneath the inseam area. So from the hem area, one inch out, and then below there, I drew my line, and then I kept going down in the same angle all the way to the length that I needed. And then the side seam just goes straight all the way down, and that's gonna be my front leg. So in construction, it's gonna be exactly the same. It's just that it's longer, that's all, but it's all the same. So I just added all that extra paper. You know, the amount I needed to add is irrelevant because that's just my height and what I need. So it might be totally different for you. I always find easy to know and you're never gonna make a mistake if you try one of the garments you already have and measure from there down. I always get my son to help me with that. He knows exactly how to do it because he's been doing it for years and he tells me, you need to add 56 centimeters. And that includes the hem allowance. He knows to add that inch at the bottom. So that's all I did. The sewing was exactly the same. It's just that I've got these amazing pants now. I love them so much. The look at this print, it's just wild. I don't know what these are. Like, tell me this does not look like a molar. Have you had your wisdom teeth pulled out and then they give them to you? Well, that's what that looks like to me. <laughs> Anyway, it's pretty wild. I did not try to match up anything on the side. That would have been impossible. And I always knew that because the print was like that, I wanted a garment that had not many seams. And these pants, I don't think have many seams, just the crotch there, the sides. You know, I wouldn't have wanted to make something with princess seams and a bodice seam and then a separate skirt, that sort of thing I would stay away with from prints like this. This is amazing. And I have the same flat front feature right there with my facing inside. The elasticated feature starts from the pocket opening. There's my pocket opening. I use that same lightweight cotton for the pocket lining, but I have the main fabric over here. And then it just goes all the way down. Lovely, one inch hem allowance. It fits amazingly, it feels amazing. I did have to top stitch that elastic down because it was wanting to fold and get all, you know. <laughs> some elastics are like that and this is amazing another option for you if you already have the tinley pattern or if you want to buy it this is another unofficial option you can get yourself some pants as well easy easy to lengthen just adapt the inseam a little bit so that it makes sense to carry on straighter rather than tapering in like the original angle of the shorts was so this one's a little harder to style you see some cropped styles on the top which is not common for me but i think they suit these 
Now, because I love the Tinley shorts and how they fit, why not make them pants? I just lengthen them. It's about 23 inches longer than the shorts to become full length for me. This is a dead stock farm Rio fabric that I found in a local shop over here and the print is pretty wild. I think it suits the wide leg style because I don't have many seams here. And I've got a cropped blazer that I found this summer in a shop in Chile. It's ready to wear. I thought, why not? Let's try it out. It was on sale. And I think it goes perfectly over these wide leg pants. The hemline of the blazer is just below my natural waist there. It's a little wider. And I'm taking a risk here, totally out of my comfort zone. I think these two go really well together and look at my shoes I love those shoes this is just so pretty this is an outfit I would wear to church they sort of look like a maxi skirt so I've been known to wear these types of pants to church before and I'd feel great like this now the next look is very similar it's just that this time I have a sleeveless top this is one I made recently from Pattern Emporium called Rise and Shine and it's a really cool tank in linen and I made the cropped version and I made the casing with an elastic inside which is one of the options. That hem option really suits the wide leg bottoms. This is great. I've kept the same shoes, <laughs> different bag this time and yeah this is an outfit I really 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 love. You know the beige and the black it's sort of harder for me to style because I don't have any tops that are in beige color most of my things are black so I could think about adding a sort of neutral top to my wardrobe because I don't have many at all. The top waistline is a little below my natural waist as well so I feel it balances out the wide legs that I've got at the bottom just so lovely I love this outfit it feels amazing and fresh. here's something more casual now this linen jacket is also ready to wear I found this summer when I was in a mall in Chile so shock I don't make everything I do buy some things sometimes when they have a good price and they're good quality I've paired them with these really cool sneakers I have and this is something I could wear for travel I could see myself in an airport dressed like this and being super comfortable but also not too sloppy because I don't like traveling in sweatpants you know what I mean <laughs> so I love this outfit I think the lighter tone jacket goes together really well with these pants and they're pretty striking so comfortable as well with the flat front elasticated back I kept my facing hack here for this version as well which is amazingly comfortable really happy with my new ones they are just so so lovely structured it will fit and feel a little bit different than the flowy versions remember when you use thicker fabric the garment ends up a little smaller on the inside because the fabric takes up some of that ease so they do feel a little bit more fitted than 100% lightweight rayon for example when they're the same size but you know that when you wear denim over the day it just stretches out and molds to your body and it just feels amazing they don't feel tight i'm just saying that they feel different from 100 percent rayon they feel different to this one which is 70 percent rayon 30 percent linen and they're just so lovely i'm just so happy and i hope i've inspired you to make a few changes have fun with your sewing i have so much fun with my sewing and i love sharing it with you and as I promised, I was going to show you my previous Tinley versions. I've just styled them today in the morning, keeping it very simple. I'm using the same white top and the same white sandals just to keep it all simple. This is the first pair of Tinley shorts I made last year. They are the same style as the denim ones you've seen in this video. It's just that the rayon makes them look super different. This print is amazing and I've used part of this print to contrast at the waistband. I've paired all of my tin leaves with my white terra tunic just to keep it simple. Of course, like white goes with everything and this is really good. It's got a split hem so I've tucked the front in so you can see the waistband details in this short. They're so lovely, they're so light. I also have a ballad blouse in the same fabric that I've shown you styled before as well as a sort of fake jumpsuit, but not really, <laughs> it's a set. So these are lovely, they feel so soft on the skin, the, the rayon is so light, it feels like you're not, not wearing any clothes. 
This second one is also the same type of fabric, very lightweight rayon, very drapey, and these are shorts also, but the full style. So it's really hard to notice that they're shorts. It just looks like a full skirt. I really love them. The colors are pretty bold there with the navy and the orange, and I think the white terra tunic goes perfectly. I've also tucked in the front, left the back tucked out, so you can see the flat front detail on the waistband. So lovely, I mean, this skirt is pretty bold. The print is just so large scale. But I think it goes with my style, my, my vibes. I think, I'm, I'm sure it's not for everyone and a lot of you might probably think this is pretty awful, but I love it. <laughs> these are one of my most favorite makes from last year. I can't tell you how many times I've worn these shorts and because they're linen and rayon, they have sort of grown a little bit. I think I might go ahead and take them in at the side seams at like 3 8 That's just something that happens with some fabrics. But they're still so, so comfortable to wear. The stripes are amazing. I can pair them with all the three colors in the stripes. So the white terra tunic goes perfectly here with these shorts. These shorts, I mean, have I worn them a hundred times? Probably. The tinley can be made with knits or wovens, and this is the only version I made in a knit. This is actually a skirt version. It still has the same pockets and the waistband. It's just that this is an athletic knit, pretty heavy, pretty structured, and I love it in the black and white. This is also a skirt I've pulled out countless amounts of times as a quick thing when I don't know what to wear. I grab this and a black top and I'm out the door. So this has been a staple for me as well. I love the fit, it's so comfortable. Don't forget to check out the Tin Lee only today for $5. Otherwise it's gonna be back to its regular price tomorrow. So it's always a good day to grab them for a lot less, like 60% off. Remember I have a coupon code. It's always in the bottom at the comments and the description box. You can get an extra 10% off even on top of sales if you use it. Now about the facing tutorial, I'm planning to have that one ready before the end of the month. I've already got a date on my own calendar for the last week of this month where you're going to see three ways to create a facing for a garment and to sew it. And then you'll be able to add facings onto different styles and you'll see that it's so, so easy. And the way that you do it follows the same sort of steps, the same concepts with just a few small differences. So I'm excited to share that content with you. I assure you it's going to be worth the wait because it's something that's really going to help you. That's all from me. Have an amazing weekend. See you soon next week. Bye.